All right, so we're going to start talking about arithmetic sequences and series. Arithmetic are a specific type of sequence uh, that we'll see down here. So first it says find the next three terms of the sequences. So 3, 7, 11, 15, pretty quick we start noticing that each one of these is adding 4. And if you don't notice, you can do 7 minus 3, 11 minus 7, 15 minus 11, each term minus the term in front of it, and that will get you what we call the common difference, D. And so that's 4. And so we can keep adding 4, so that's 19, 23, 27. Um, so on a sequence like that, it's pretty quick. But on one like this, it's a little bit harder to tell what's being added every time. What's being added from here to here? Because this is also what we call an arithmetic sequence. And so let's do 9, nine fourths minus 7 halves. And that should be equal to 1 minus 9 fourths. And we'll, we'll just see that those two are equal and trust that the rest are. So 9 fourths minus 7 halves, we need a common denominator. So we're going to multiply by 2 over 2 to get a common denominator of 4. So 9 minus 14 over 4 would give us a negative 9, sorry, negative 5 fourths. And then 1 minus 9 fourths is 4 fourths minus 9 fourths, and that also gives us negative 5 fourths. So if we're going to continue this sequence, um, you can continue this with the D, and so you'd have to do negative 3 halves plus another 5 fourths. And so the next term would be 6 fourths, again a 2 over 2 minus 5 fourths. So negative, uh, negative 11 fourths. Let's just pretend that negative 12 wasn't there. And then the next one, another negative 5 fourths. That would be negative 11 fourths minus 5 fourths would be negative 16 fourths. And so now we're going to be actually at negative 4. And so you get the idea. Um, find the first five terms of the sequence. So a sub 1 is the first term as if we plug in negative 1 into here. Sorry, we plug in 1. So negative 4 times 1 plus 12 is negative 4 plus 12, which is 8. a sub 2 is when we plug a 2 in for n, because we want to find the second term. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. a sub 3, negative 4 times 3 is 12, plus 12. So negative 12 plus 12 is 0. And so you start noticing, oh, the common difference, d, is negative 4. And so our fourth term is going to be negative 4, negative 16 plus 12. And our fifth term is going to be negative 8. And so we could write it as 8, 4, 0, negative 4, and negative 8. Um, and so this is what we call the nth term formula, that you can plug in what term you want, and it spits out the actual term. So we wanted the first term, so we plug in 1. Wanted the second term, you plug in 2. Want the third term, you plug in 3. All of these are arithmetic sequences. Here we added for each time. Here we subtracted for each time. And here we subtracted 5 fourths each time. And so an arithmetic sequence is 1 with a constant difference. Um, and we're going to use D to represent what the constant difference is. Or in other words, the same thing added and subtracted each time. Um, so, we can plot these. Um, this is our first term, second term, third term, fourth term. And so if I got 15 up here, 5, 10... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 
one, two, three, four. Our first term is three. Second term is seven, eleven, and fifteen. Notice that these form a line. Now we're not going to connect them because all our terms are individual and we don't have a one and a half term or a two and a half term. So we leave them as dots, but imagine if it was a line. Arithmetic sequences think linear. y equals mx plus b. And so this has a y-intercept, so if we were to continue the pattern, which was adding 4, like we had it, the y-intercept is kind of like the zero term, or zeroth term, if you add a th there. So if we wanted to write a formula for the nth term, thinking like it's a, um, a slope, each time it's increasing by 4, so that's kind of like 4x, but instead we're going to use 4n. That's like our slope. And then our y-intercept is negative 1. If we did 3 minus 1 and found the 0 term, that was negative 1. And so minus 1. y-intercept, 0 term. And so... I want us to start thinking about this, and then we just add a sub n, which is kind of like our y equals. And that's how our formula relates. Um, so find a formula for first term 4, and a common difference of 3. And so d is 3, and the first term is 4. So imagine the sequence, 4, common difference of 3. So add 3, add 3, add 3 add 3, and so we want, when we plug this in, that we're going to have a 3n, because d is kind of like the slope. Each time uh, we get to the next term, we're going to add another 3. Repeatedly multiplying, sorry, repeatedly adding 3 is multiplying 3. And then if we continue this pattern backwards, this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth term, our zero term would be 1. And so that's where we're going to start. Um, so what we want to do is, rather than think of, and actually let's do this one more time just to get the hang of it, um, write the formula for the nth term if the second term is 24. So second term is 24. Common difference is negative 5. This is d. So the term in front of it, the first term, we've subtracted 5 to get 24, so 29 is the first term. And then the 0 term would be another 5, so that'd be 34. And so like we've been doing, a sub n is our 0 term, or our common difference, negative 5n, like our slope, each increase is decreasing by 5, plus our 34. So this is always d and this is always our zero term, or our y-intercept. Now, so what we've done every single time is this. We've, um, we've had our a sub n term would always be our slope times n plus our first term, but minus a d. So this is where our zero term was coming from. And so, if we rearrange this a little bit, let's bring the a sub 1 first, and then make it d times n minus d, and what if we factored out this d? So then n minus 1. What we're getting is a general term, general way of doing this every single time. And so rather than using the zero term, we're going to use the first term minus the, the d. So this will work every single time. So that's what I have down here. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is always a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And so I just move the d backwards. This is your first term. This is your common difference.